Well, hi there, it's Brooke, and today I have three more tiered trays for you. So we are gonna start with my very first tray I ever purchased, and that's just the circle tray from Hobby Lobby where both of the circles are the same size. And then the second tray I decorated was my decor steels tray, my all metal tray, and then the last one is one of my faves, and that's the big Amazon tray that I always keep in the corner of my kitchen. Like I said before in the other videos, I was just playing around and I was just decorating. So we have kind of three different themes for you and of course I will go through that as we are decorating the trays and I hope you enjoy and let's get to tiered traying. So for the first tray I really wanted to use that little book stack, the hot cocoa one that I got. It didn't fit on this so then I ended up using it on my Target tier trays. But the other item that I did want to use with that was my mini marshmallows little container. I want to say Hobby Lobby has a peppermint chips one this year but I got this a few years ago so who knows if they'll come out with one. I saw that they had a really cute just like marshmallow sign. I thought that was really fun. I would not put marshmallows in here because it's not sealed tight and they're just going to go hard on you. I mean it's cute but it's necessarily not practical for marshmallows unless you have those like hard little dried out ones. Since my book stack didn't work out I had kind of gathered some coffee mugs or hot cocoa mugs or fun mugs. So I have this Santa one I got at Joann's and then I just have a wood slice. Joann's a few years ago and then I also also have this one from Joann's. It's just a Christmas tree and that's from a few years ago. Also, I got my marshmallows, I got my mug, and then I remembered I have this hot chocolate weather little sign from the Target Dollar Spot. And I like to use this in the winter or Christmas time. I just think it's a fun one because all it has on is little snowflakes. And then I was just looking for some items to fill in up here. And so I had a Christmas tree, I had a Santa, so I thought my little snowman bird would look cute with this. It just kind of went with the colors and I just thought he was fun. He looks like he's ready to come in from outside and have some hot cocoa. Of course I wanted to use one of my little mugs so I used the green one to pull from some the green from the bottom up to the top and then I also filled in the back with another one of my boxwood little block trees. I also filled in the back on the bottom with one of my hearth and hand trees. It doesn't fit in there perfect, but it fits in there pretty good. So then I wanted to add what I like to call garnish. You know, just the little fillers that you can see when you're real up close. So I thought it'd be fun to add a pine cone to the mug. I could have added little stir sticks too, but I was feeling the pine cone with like the wood sign and everything. And then also up on the top, I added some of these mini bottle brush trees from Hobby Lobby and then I added a red and green little ornament stuff whoop, down here at the bottom just to add a little more color and fill in those little bare spots. I don't think that's necessary but I also really like it. You could have easily used some greenery or put ornaments on the top and bottom. I did try to put a tree down there and I didn't like it. I could have used some more pine cones or things like that. So garnish is just my little thing that I like to sprinkle in there. You know, it's like salt and pepper. There's a, you can put too much salt and pepper on your stuff, but I don't necessarily think you could probably put too little. So it's kind of one of those things. For this tray, we are going to start with these little snowflake lights that I had purchased from Target a long time ago. I know they come out with different varieties at Target, Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I'm not a big fan of the Hobby Lobby lights. I feel like they really drain the batteries really fast for some reason. I haven't really tried Joann's or Michael's. I have used a few Walmarts and I think, were these from Walmart? These might be from Walmart too, but usually I have Target ones. So I think I've had good luck with the Target and the Walmart ones. The Hobby Lobbies, I just feel like they drain the batteries way too fast. I don't know. I wrapped my lights around here and then this little garland is just little white pom-poms that I just put on some necklace string or any kind of thin string you have around. And then I kind of wove it in and out of the little snowflake light and I always buy lights with a timer if they don't have a timer I pass them up I love all the lights in the Target dollar spot but they don't come with the timer so I'm just not willing to deal with that because they'll never get turned on so these have a timer I wrap these around here I wanted to use this blue Merry Christmas sign that I have so I just thought the snowflakes and then the like my little snow garland I call it would just look really good with this so I got it all wrapped around here which is not the easiest thing but I got her done and you can also buy 
buy big pom-poms pre-garland at Hobby Lobby. I just happen to have these pom-poms and the string, so I just made a couple for myself. And so here is the blue sign. I was looking through my stuff and said, I, since I used the blue sign, I wanted to use my blue tree that I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And I thought it just looked nice up there. I do have another blue tree that's ceramic, but it just didn't fit. So we just went with the bottle brush one. And then I thought it would be fun to add a little snowman up here. He's just my skinny little snowman. He's just gonna sit up there and hang out. And then down on the bottom, I decided to use my white truck. So I just set that up here in the front. And then I was kind of going through my other stuff and trying to figure out what looked good and what matched. So I have this kind of brown and white sketchy tree that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I set that over there. and then. And I also grabbed my reindeer since he had blue and we're kind of going with the blue theme or my reindeer bird I should say and I set him over here and then I was just finding items to kind of fill in I have this like crystal frosted tree from the dollar spot and these are also really pretty if you like kind of set them on top of the lights and they kind of glow so I just kind of filled that in back there and then I also just have a white snowflake that I use to fill in kind of back behind the bird and the tree and then of course of course I had to put something in the back of my truck and so I have this beautiful little blue um it's supposed to be like a sugar cookie but it's just a blue snowflake and it's all sparkly so I set that in the back of the truck and then I needed to add a little garnish so I grabbed I have little blue ones that have two colors of blues and then like a whitey pearly color so I put some up here on the top and then I put some down here in my little bit of an open spot. And there is my blue wonderland. I really like the blue and the white. I don't know, blue for Christmas. It seems very um, wintry also, like if you didn't have the Merry Christmas and the reindeer, you could easily switch that out to like a snowman. I have like a let it snow kind of sign and I could easily trans this, transition this into winter very easily. So it's always fun to make one, you know, kind of a tray that you can use for Christmas and winter that maybe you just switch out a sign and you're good to go or even I could move that snowflake up here to where the sign is or they do have bigger ones you know have something like that up there I just really like this I really like how it turned out I like how I have the bird but it's just a little bit farther back and it's not front and center And for my Amazon tray, I must have had a thing for lights <laughs> these last couple. But I got these little mercury gas ornament. They're not glass. They are plastic, but they kind of resemble mercury glass. It is a nine foot strand. So I have it like wrapped kind of twice around the top and bottom. I just was eyeballing these. I got them on clearance last year and I was sitting there going, I need to make a tray with these. So what I did is I just started the tray with these ornaments. So this was my theme with these lights. I was like, these are going on there first and then I'm gonna add stuff that I feel look beautiful and go with the flow of the light. So I have this Mary sign and I thought that would look really pretty down here on the bottom, just kind of with the lights kind of around it. One of the first things I filled in, cause I knew I had that the switch back here, I grabbed a couple of logs and I put one of the logs kind of in front of the switch back here. Let me turn this so you can see what I'm doing. So I put one of the logs kind of in front of the switch back here. And then this log I grabbed cause it has this like weird little notchy spot. And then I was able to kind of lay that over the other one. So then when you have it in the back, it just looks like you got some wood resting there. It kind of covers up the switch, but it kind of still adds to the rustic vibe. So with that rustic vibe, I wanted to add some of this greenery I have. Now this comes in a big bush from Hobby Lobby. And I usually, I have torn apart all of mine. Some of them, usually there's like three in a branch and I have them like that because I would stick them in the tree or in different greenery. But then there is some that I've taken all apart to use on my tiered trays. So I kind of did slip one under the M here and then I created just this little pattern around that. And then so up on the top, I thought with these lights and they're, so on the lights they have just an open light, but then they also have the ornaments. So I thought that all these glass um, trees that I bought last year and some that I picked up on clearance would look really pretty if I just kind of set them up here. And then I set that on top of one of those lights. So it just kind of fills in and then I have a 
frosted one here. Um, this is kind of a turquoise mercury glass one. I set that on top of another light. And then I had a spot to fill in the bottom, so I grabbed my pink one and I kind of put that here behind the Mary sign. And then I have another little green one that I did set on top of a light. So I kind of did every other one because I didn't want to like have to move around the lights completely to get the effect I wanted. And so those are the trees I added. And then I also thought my little ballerina from the Nutcracker set that they have at Hobby Lobby. I have the Nutcracker and they also had the Rat King, but I didn't really like him. But I just grabbed the ballerina for this. I don't know. I just thought she looked pretty sitting over here with all of her beautiful trees and it kind of added to the elegance of it but also the rustic so with the pine that I put on here I wanted to add a little more and I thought it'd be kind of cool that if I had some going like this way that I would stick the other bunch going like the opposite way so it looked kind of created a line right through my tray I tried to get them pretty you know like a an actual line and then I did the same up on the top I wanted to add some you know over here I had added some already and then I was like okay I'm gonna make the line like I did on the bottom and they're kind of crossed each other from on the top you know the top and the bottom kind of make an X also and so when I talked about in my I think my First or second target tier trade that I was kind of making little scenes. I totally made little scenes here. I got a little scene here. I got kind of a little scene here, a little scene here, but then it all just kind of goes together and it's kind of glammy, rustic. And I just, I'm just in love with this tray. It's so simple. Like this is so different than the trays I usually make, but it just really makes me happy. There is the last of my tier trays. So I decorated 11 tar target tier trays, six of my other trays, and next tier trays you'll see will be the ones I'll be using in my house. I will for sure be using a target one downstairs on my end table and one in my kitchen, the Amazon one in my kitchen as usual. I haven't decided which one I wanna use on my end table in the living room, and I'm thinking I'd like to put that three tier tray in the bedroom for Christmas, but I could do a different one I have quite decided yet and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on my coffee bar I kind of want to make like a hot cocoa bar but I also not sure how to do that so I haven't quite decided so you'll for sure have three that you'll see maybe more that's all I have for you so I hope you've enjoyed all the two trays I will have my Christmas 2022 playlist listed down below and all my Christmas tier trays listed down below if you want to go back and look at any from previous years that I've done I hope you enjoyed and got inspiration or all that good holiday cheers. So as always, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.